You've got a whole pod full of plasma guns. Couldn't throw me one? Well, maybe you'd have some ammo left if you didn't waste it all shooting up the orphanage. Look, oh. <laughs> I thought that those kids were alien shapeshifters, okay? Yeah, they sure screamed like orphans. <laughs> hey, if you kids can't play quietly, we've been trying to get to the post-apocalyptic wasteland for an hour. We can't get out of the city of mutants. Oh, let's see what we have here. Hunter. There's your wasteland. Wow, it's even more beautiful than on the box. <laughs> Who was that masked man? I don't know, but he's got the miracle whip on my gamepad. <laughs> Your firm has casual Fridays and now Hobo Tuesdays? No, this is the result of staying up for three days writing a brief for a case that already settled. But no one had time to tell me because they were too busy playing golf and sexually harassing paralegals. Speaking of which, Mike from your firm called. Said he's sorry, but he can't run the marathon with you. Oh, so Mr. Junior Partner is too important to run with a lowly associate? Actually, those were his exact words. Sal just gave me the rest of the day off because I submitted the winning bid on his hotel project. I don't know what the big deal is. It just felt like a $658,432 job. Could your life get any better? Yeah, I just found two Springsteen tickets on the subway for tonight. Well, let me guess. You gonna take that gorgeous Knicks cheerleader? Hey, Margo's not a cheerleader, okay? They're called the Knicks City Dancers, and they don't just dance, they help sick kids. <laughs> Excuse me, I gotta go take a shower. Margo awaits at the tanning salon. Oh, yeah. Because nothing upsets a sick child more than a visit from a pasty cheerleader. <laughs> that man is Satan. That's a little extreme, don't you think? No, no. Look, think about it. Okay, he's good at everything, and he doesn't even try. And everything that he wants, he gets. Uh, money, Springsteen tickets, bleeding heart cheerleaders with no tan lines. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, he's on the devil's speed dial. The next time Satan calls, we should star 69 I want to find out what he has planned for the Backstreet Boys. Wow. You look like Robert Downey Jr. at a parole hearing. Suzanne, what are you doing here? Well, I was cleaning out the hall closet and I found some things of yours. Here, the silver key ring I gave you for passing the bar. The picture of me and Snow White where you wrote, I was the fairest of them all. Oh, and the ticket stubs when we saw those adorable singing junkies in Rent. Oh, man, does this bring back memories. Oh, I know. We did have some good times. Yeah, my quarters come from the Trump Plaza in Atlantic City. I won 86 bucks and I met Dionne Warwick at the buffet. I didn't go with you on that trip. Oh, you should have been there. It was awesome. <laughs> Norris drank six kamikazes out of this cup, and then he puked in the ice machine. <laughs> hey, Norris, remember that time you asked me to kill you? Well, so much for gay men being sensitive. What are you working on? I represent this insurance company. A dentist filed a disability claim because he says he went blind. The nerve of him. Now, I gotta write the letter. Dear Dr. So-and-so, sorry to hear you're allegedly sightless. Whatever. We're not paying you a million dollars. Suck it up. <laughs> Peace and love, Ford Lowell Esquire. You don't have to pay him if he lied, right? <laughs> no, no, Hunter, we don't. We also don't have to pay him if he's a walrus. <laughs> no, it's just that on his policy here, he put eyesight normal, but on his driver's license, he put corrective lenses. That means the dude lied, either on his policy or on his driver's license. Either way, you win. <laughs> How did you know to look for that? I saw it on Matlock. <laughs> anyway, it's just common sense. Pop-Tart, anyone? Well, looks like Nick at Night could have saved somebody three years of law school. <laughs> Come on, you heard him. It's just common sense. It's not like he's better than me at my job. By the way, how's a guy gonna read the letter if he's blind? Here, 
I made some of my grandmother's famous peach cobbler. Oh, thanks. I'm not a huge fan of Nana Lowell's Try cobbler. Try it. Oh. <laughs> wow. Mm. Wow, this is fantastic. Mm. Mm. Yeah. More vanilla, less nutmeg. Mm. Hunter's idea. <laughs> I think you're right. He is Satan. God, I wish I could beat him at something. Finally! Welcome to the resistance, comrade. <laughs> Pain fumes a little strong up here, aren't they? This, this, look, I got a foolproof plan, okay? Get Hunter to run the marathon with you. What? You can't lose, Ford. You've trained for months. No, I couldn't do that to him. Oh, no, you've got to. I've been dreaming about this. It's delicious, I tell you. Delicious! <laughs> you could get hurt. Hurt? Hurt is, is living half of my life in Hunter's shadow. You know, I spent the whole summer before college learning how to juggle just so I could be the freshman juggling guy. Hunter's a natural juggler. I know, I know. And there I was, right, working my three bean bags in the student lounge, and Hunter comes in with a bowling ball and a toaster and a flaming typewriter. Everybody cheered and followed him off. Left me handling my bags in front of the janitor. Hey, hey, Hunter! Can you come up here right away? It's an emergency. Come on, Ford, it's up to you. Beat him in the marathon and end his reign of terror! <laughs> I don't know. I, I think this is kind of between you and Hunter and the company that makes Prozac. Listen, this, this is not just for me. This is for all those other sad, conquered bastards that came before us. Don't you see, Ford? You're our great gay hope. All right, where's the spider? No, no, no. Um, uh, Ford wants you to run the marathon with him. I don't know, Ford. 26 miles? No, 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 no. He'll be there with you every step of the way, buddy. Look, I understand if you're not up to it. Oh, no, I could do it. It just sounds boring. I mean, running is kind of for girls. For girls? Hey, look, you have no idea how many girls you're going to meet when you run this marathon with me. Uh, yes, thousands of them. Tanned, toned, best of all, numbered. Uh, I like numbers. Yeah. Not so good with names. No. Okay, count me in. Oh, I'm afraid we'll be counting you out. <laughs> Anybody see my other sneaker? Uh, hey, buddy. Wanna borrow one of mine? It's small, don't you think? Oh, it'll stretch. Is it even the right foot? It'll stretch. <laughs> hey, thanks, Mom. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Mom. I can have you fixed. <laughs> Look, Hunter, if you don't stretch a little, your ligaments are liable to snap, like guitar strings. I leaned over to grab the remote last night, so I'm good to go. Well, here we are, ready for a big day of watching disoriented marathoners stumble past the brownstone. Explain to me again why we can't throw garbage at them. Gatorade and a fifth of vodka? Why? I get sweaty mm. drinking vodka. Hey, the other day when I was getting your stuff together, I realized I was missing something. It's nothing really, just a little stuff there. Have you got it? There. Uh, it doesn't ring a bell. How could you forget the Shoney's bear? I thought you said it was nothing. <laughs> that means it's everything. What are you, in a coma? Oh, no, 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 take it easy. Look, of course I remember that, that little bear from, from Chili's, right? Chonies. We were driving back from Virginia, and we got into that huge fight about the wiper fluid, remember? God, there were so many of those. You came out of the Shoney's restaurant. You gave me this little bear from the gift shop. It was the moment that I knew I wanted to marry you. Well, actually, no, that was a week later when I got the results of your TRW report. <laughs> Hey, 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 honey, look, I'm sorry, okay? I promise I will help you look for it as soon as Hunter is a broken and spent man. Hey, there's our champ. <laughs> Come on, pal, glory waits. Remember, we'll be here to cheer you on when you pass the house. Unless you happen to have a massive heart attack and die in the gutter. <laughs> oh, like no one else was thinking it. Why'd you take off like that? Oh, I was running after that girl. She was way up front. I wanted to chat her up. Yeah, she's the defending champion. That's why her number is one. <laughs> hey, take it easy, dude. Save some gas for the last 22 miles. 
Don't worry about me. I'm in peak condition. This body is a running machine. <laughs> a man would lose the gift that made you want to marry him? Do you believe a woman would marry a man because of a crappy stuffed bear? <laughs> Look, I'm sure Ford still has all kinds of meaningful junk from your marriage. There were only some place I could look to know for sure. I say, if there were only some place I could look or perhaps even search for evidence that he cared. <laughs> you sneak into his room and rifle through his stuff? Oh, but that would be wrong. <laughs> Meet me upstairs two minutes. Right. <laughs> what about Norris? Damn the weakling. What? Uh, Norris, um, would you be a sweetheart and run to the store? I want to throw a little victory cookout for the guys tonight. Can't wait. I mean, I don't want to miss any of the marathon. This street is like pothole central. People are going down. Yeah. Here's $200, and go buy yourself something pretty for your trouble. I love these new $100 bills. Hey, uh, there's a third one stuck. See you. $150 bucks on sneakers, and my feet are covered in blisters. My feet are fine, but my wallet's kind of digging into my ass. You brought your wallet? Yeah, we're going right by Office Depot, and I need a wastebasket. Come on, pick up the pace. I'll buy you a stapler. This is unbelievable. I know. He's got specialized hairbrushes. Top of head, side of head, other side of head. No, I mean, there isn't a single trace of our marriage in this room. There's not a photo, not a letter, nothing. Well, come on. I mean, marries you, then three years later wakes up and realizes he's gay? Hey, I trash all evidence of my marriage, too, and get all new stuff. What new stuff? You know, gay stuff. You mean like his George Michael CD collection? No, I mean like, don't leave it out in the open gay stuff. Ugh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ford would never have anything like that, because, you know, that would mean that, you know, he's... He's not just standing outside the restaurant looking at the menu. He's actually sitting down at a table strapping on a bib. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, come on, let, let's go fill paper cups with hot sauce to hand to the runners. <laughs> Suzanne? Chloe? I need a flashlight, some double-sided tape, and a gimlet. And if you can't find the flashlight and the tape, don't worry about it. <laughs> Remind me again why we're doing this. You're doing it to me, girls. And I'm doing it to beat you like a dog. What do you want to do that for? Because you're lucky and you win at everything, and all the losers are counting on me. I'm the great gay ho. Where did you get that? Norris. You might have also said that you're, you know, Satan. Satan? Hey. If anyone's Satan, it's Norris. Do you see him out here running? No. He's probably kicking back on his recliner right now, laughing at us. Run, grocery bag! Run! Oh, yeah! So Norris has been Satan all along. Of course. Oh, come on, the guy who says someone else is Satan is always the real Satan. Come on, man. What is Satan spelled backwards? Natas. <laughs> Almost Norris. <laughs> oh man, we could sure go for one of those fruit drinks right now. Let's get one. What better way to thwart Natas's evil plan than to drop out of the race? <laughs> Mr. Frank, if you want me to stay in this race, say something. Fair enough. Come on, Suzanne, give it up. We found the decorative bath soaps. Isn't that gay enough? Not hardly. There has got to be something else to... Ha ah! ha! Hey, what have we here, Mr. Unmarked Gay Shoebox? 
Why would a man who has his video collection barcoded in the living room have a single unmarked cassette in the back of his closet? Hmm, could it be? Fear of flooding? I don't think so. Okay, then what about hot man-on-man -man love action? Let's go to the videotape. Grocery man. No one knows who he is or where he comes from, but he's captured the hearts of men. Here he goes. Run, grocery man, run. <laughs> Oh, ew. Ugh. Sleazy music, bad lighting, cheap costumes. Ugh, this is disgusting. Oh, my God. It's our wedding video. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, look, Ford's boutonniere. <laughs> oh, and a framed wedding invitation and one of our cocktail napkins. Suzanne and Gord? Mm. You sued the printers for 60 grand. Well, obviously your marriage did mean something to Gord. Yeah, but why would he keep the stuff hidden in the back of his closet? It's kind of ironic, huh? What? Gay guy hiding his straight stuff in the closet. Never mind. <laughs> hey, and he didn't even find any gay stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe Grammy's right. Maybe it is just a phase. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe we let Norris play us for chumps like this. I know. It's just that when he pointed out how easy everything is for you, <laughs> it really bugged me. Hey, you loosened it up, pal. Oh, God, look at me. I spent my entire life working like a dog. What do I have to show for it? Broken marriage and, and job writing threatening letters to the blind. <laughs> if anyone's Satan, it's me. Hey, you're just doing your job. I mean, look, if I look the other way while they use substandard cement on a job, would that make me a bad guy? Well, yeah. <laughs> the point is, your life is great. You're smart, well respected. Sure, I might have more fun, but your tops are the things that count. <laughs> I guess you're right. You know I am. Well, I am pretty smart. I mean, no offense, but you couldn't have gotten into the law school I went to. Not even to rake the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> and so my marriage failed, right? That's nothing to be ashamed of. You've never had a relationship last more than three days. Now that is shameful. <laughs> shameful. Pathetic. You ever see some of those girls you bring home in the cold light of day? <laughs> Woof. <laughs> well, oh, God, and your job. Punching a clock, sitting in an unheated trailer, sucking down bad coffee. I'd put a gun in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, well, I still got one thing going for me. I didn't even train for this marathon. I was still gonna kick your flabby white collar butt. <laughs> I guess we'll never know. I guess not. <laughs> Whew, I'm hungry. Bet I could eat four hot dogs. Uh, I bet I could eat six. I bet I could eat eight in five minutes. Twelve, <laughs> fifteen. Anything else, gentlemen? Yeah, 30 hot dogs. And a stopwatch, please. <laughs> In all my years, I never seen anybody eat 14 hot dogs, let alone two guys. You're both crazy. <laughs> How much time? About 40 seconds, and then I'm putting an end to this marathon of gluttony. <laughs> What's the matter? Losing your nerve? Yeah, baby. <laughs> you think this is funny? This will wipe that smirk off your face. Finished. Who won? I did. Oh. Come here, Gord, you big sentimental lug. I may vomit. What about 
about you? How are you feeling? Oh, uh, it was a lot of hot dogs in the race. You know, running backwards, hopping on one leg, that kind of thing. Kind of ruins it for the serious runners. <laughs> what happened to you? I ran the marathon. Yeah, we all ran the marathon. I did. I did. Hey, I, I am a folk hero. I am a legend. I am Grocery Man! Yeah, well, Grocery Man, I think your tinfoil cape is picking up some signals from outer space. <laughs> Anybody want a hot dog? Oh, God. Yeah, I'll take two. Morning, Counselor. This is your day. And this city is your oyster. Mm. What the? Top of head? <laughs> like a twisted freak. <sighs> Good morning, Counselor. 